Most people in America are looking at how do I make a life worth living in return with having. The challenge of a lot of people in America is they don't really know anything about any other industries, any other career tracks, any other professions, and what is required within them. The liars of America want to say that they have rights to people that they technically underneath federal law have absolutely no rights to. But what will happen is a group of people will join together and think that they can handle their things their way without someone ever knowing today. The liars of America will put reports together without the lawful consent of the person they're reporting upon. This afternoon, a woman named Anne came up to me who was obviously someone from mental health unit someplace. She's a liar. She played me with $20. She talked to me about my geese who were sort of following me around at that time because I just fed them some of my leftover food because I can't eat all of that. I'm a slightly gluten intolerant, so I know what my tolerances are. The liars of America like to lie about who they are. I think she thinks that under her Catholic guise, even though she claimed to be pagan, that she can pay for her sins. She can't. When she finished being her pleasant self and talking about her wanting get, that she had to get off soon, she literally parked a long way away from me so I couldn't see her plate. That's okay. I got it anyway, because God knows where everyone is today. But the point I'm trying to make to you is you don't have the right to play with people. Do you know how many days I'm played with? Do you know how many times a homeless person is insulted? Do you know how many times an impoverished person goes after someone because that person who's impoverished is mentally unwell? Right now, there's a very mentally unstable young woman living across uh, the street from Denny's in an abandoned O'Charlie's. She's actually pulled herself into that cubbyhole and been there for weeks on end. Now, I apologize. I don't want somebody to lose their safe place to be out of the heat and in, out of the sun and in some safety of, well, dry space. But I don't need someone walking around the community claiming to be something to me they're not. And I don't need somebody like that coming up to me when I'm sleeping and cutting my beard off. And I don't need some mentally unstable woman shouting at me across the parking lot in Target who I've never met in my life. And the first time I ever saw that woman, she walked up and started shouting about some sort of a, uh, a restraining order. And I'm like, what are you talking about? I don't even know you. And that kind of put her in her place. But she still tends to play around where I am and it gets really old. Much like that other panhandler who lives on the block with her black husband. No offense, but I'm not needing you in my life. I'm not seeing you going anywhere. And my life got impacted by someone who kept putting their hands in my pockets and taking my business cards. But here's the deal. People in mental health don't want to believe what is real in the streets because they've never lived in the streets. They've never been homeless. They've never been impoverished. They've never had cybercrime or identity theft in their life. They've never had medical records fraud, which they're participating in regularly. And they've never had police officers rip out their ACL. They've never been sexually assaulted without their consent. You see, people like to pretend there's something to people when they're not, and people like to pretend other people are liars when they're not, and the liars of America are winning in America because people like that allow them to.